Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trufinut, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to God of War. We're, uh, well, right outside the Council of Valkyries, right outside the uh, the two oarsmen, and uh, we're gonna nip back into Tears Temple, but I'm assuming we're gonna get a bit of a story time again with Mimir once we go into the fast travel. So, here we go, right back to Brock's shop. Hey, if I'm a god, maybe I can fly. No, no! God's two must stay on the path. I promise you. Yeah, because we've seen what happens. I'm sure it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Though I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the tree of life that it splinters. Casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. So, yeah. We know that the serpent might be from the future, because we've seen a few things related to time troubles before. But that's a bit different, that the serpent would be cast back in time. I'm um, just gonna quickly check out Brock's inventory to see if we can make anything with the Valkyrie stuff, etc. And uh, if nothing else, we'll head downstairs to uh, the inner workings of the temple. So the only thing I could do was actually use my uh, Raging Inferno I got from the end of the Muspelheim Trials and buy another Chaos Flame with that, which I could in turn use to upgrade my Blades of Chaos again. Which is cool. So let's head down the stairs and see if we can't find anything in Tears Vault. Because uh, we needed that uh, Jotunheim rune like five, six episodes ago. So, opening up the gates. If uh, Modi wants to come and interrupt us again, he's welcome to try, but I'm gonna kick his face in next time. Here we go again. And let's check out the sand bowl. Read it. Death itself I swallow to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. You wonder if you wrote it. Does that mean that you're responsible for these puzzles, Mimir? Well, there's definitely something Is here. That the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Sounds about correct, I suppose. So, let's enter it in the bowl. Go. Yeah. Yeard. Kinda sounds like Earth, so it seems to be correct. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. No, indeed, that's not You've the lesson. Nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, no, 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 no. Are we no. just leaving that there? Yeah. I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes? Indeed, because as you can see from Atreus's reaction, they often tend to this misuse their power. I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. Okay. Sounded like a really, really good guy. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. The same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks, 
The missing Jotunheim Tower. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Okay. It's a bit of nice backstory, but what eventually happened to Tyr? Did he die or is he still around? Where is this black? Don't know. I've never been in here. So we're underneath the tree, kind of, as far as I understand it. Holy shit, look at this room. What the naturally. So there is hell wind connected to it. Didn't think it would be that easy. No. It's kind of hoping though. Hmm. So what now? Deactivate the vault's defenses. That it looks pretty straightforward, although these guys don't put me at ease. That looks like something that's going to wake up Brother, eventually. A trap for the winds of hell. But where do you think the winds are? The winds of what? Oh, we forgot to mention that. When you were sick, we went to Helheim to get your cure. You did? Terrible experience, by the by. Your da picked up a new trick, though, with a little help from Brock. Brock was there, too? I... but... We'll get back to this later. Yeah, I think he's a bit mad that he didn't get to experience this himself. But, wow, this is a big treasure room, by the way. Um, there's something here. Seems like a leather. Ah, a ski and do from my homeland. Used to have one of my own back in the day. You should take it, boy. Yes, boy, take it. We might need to butter bread somewhere in our travels. This is why no one likes you. <laughs> Yeah, apparently it is. What? So, what? Why would Tyr bury all this? Tra or wait, those are the gifts that people brought to Tyr, obviously. Yeah, okay, I get that. That looks like a dangerous trap. We might be able to open up these rooms later on then. So, so there's this thing. There's no wind in it. So the wind is inside of the vault defense, obviously. So let's start by taking that and bringing the wind to... Yeah, it's rotating the other way, isn't it? To the lock over there, so... Okay. Great shot! Great shot, Kratos. There we go. Ten seconds as usual. You may lose it, brother. And there we go, that opens that up. Okay. That's just a wheel. Well, that's unfriendly. Yeah, it is. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. Uh. It's too small for father. No. Fine. We will. Jesus. Holy crap. Um. Da. Okay, yeah. Nope. Nope, no, no, no. Careful, brother. Rhea's not here to have you back if you're cut and two. So, I think. Aha! Okay. Let's get that back. Hmm. There's another lock in here. Look at that! Look at what? He's seeing things. I mean, it's all gold, so... What is all this about, actually? Oh, and that's a Greek phase. It's gonna bring back some memories, probably.
<laughs> so that means there were... Oh, wow. That's him. Kratos himself. The ghost of Sparta. What are you gonna do? Smash it or just show it to your son? <laughs> What'd you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. That is Egyptian, by the way. What the hell? Okay. So Tyr got gifts from all over the the different worlds? Because they're not really realms like we've been visiting, because realm stays in the same mythology, but Kratos kind of swapped mythologies, which is weird. Um, that's a seal. So there must be a few other ones hidden around here. But there's something here. Anything we can use? That's my great desert land, very far from here. A scarab. The gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. Good or bad? Not as simple as that, I'm afraid. Just each with their own purpose again. Okay. He leaves the scarab behind. But that is hinting at a, a larger world for, uh, who knows, the future of God of War, because this is really, really cool that it's setting all of that up. So, um, but, ah, okay, we need to pull this up. There we go. Ah, we're back in the middle, the middle. Okay. okay. The droggers, ooh, and where are they coming from? I blocked that, but apparently, yeah, okay, so I can't block. Damn it. So much. Atreus is in trouble. There we go. Oh, stop blocking that. Yeah, let's just head in there and smash him. Ah, I've wasted enough time. Into the pits. There we go. Oh yes, that aura is doing great. And there we go. And there we go. And everything opens up again. Fair enough. I think I pretty much stayed at the what did you see in that same spot. That set you off? It is not important. Seemed important to you. It was a rational thoughts. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow. That was oh fuck. Oh, well, I guess you do like to smash pottery. <laughs> okay. You do like to smash pottery. That was a a jab at me. I like pots and I like smashing pots. <laughs> Oh, come on. There we go. Running into the room, which isn't that hard, really. There we go. Ah, he was still set to explode. That was annoying. But, 
Here we go, opening up the next bit of traps. I just want to know the truth for now, okay? I don't care if it hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck. <laughs> okay, then. Ah, there's an opening on the right. There we go. Ah, let's pull that back. Scary. Nah, the salts were, uh, were scary, in my opinion. So, okay, so new room. Just gonna use that to heal up. Or not, because that was barely anything. Yeah, the difficulty sometimes kicks me in the nuts a bit, Look, but there we go. It's the wolf giants. Skull and Hati. That's right. The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. Right? Did Tyr know them? I don't know. Like them well enough to cover a massive wall in his vault with them, though. Hmm. This seems like it's a puzzle. So, we can open that up, but... It looks like they're on rails, right? We can move them around, but let's just open that up. And get uh, probably ambushed by another set of enemies. Don't you enjoy it at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun. Everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift. Hmm. It might have been. Is that... Oh, I can't break the pots in this place. You know what? That other thing... Trap for the, yeah. Uh, winds the, of Hell? The Winds of Hell. Maybe we can get up to one of those balconies for a better look. Aha. Uh -huh. But... How? Aha. Uh -huh. This looks like a place where we can climb up. There we go. Convenient arrows on the wall. And convenient places for us to put our hands everywhere. Yeah. What the... Okay. Thought something was crawling out of it, but... Clearly not. And jump down. There we go. Okay. Where are you going? And there we go. Two hits in the back. Is enough to stun him. And the Wrath of Flame is activated. Oh, I love that effect when that is active. And we're gonna pass. The touch of death, baby. Anything else? Anything else? Apparently a nightmare on the opposite side of the... And that was clearly in the back, but... Okay. Pretty easy fight. Let's read up on this. What of these? Thought is faster than wind. Hmm. Perhaps this isn't about speed at all. Is there someplace else the wind... Look! There's the wind trap! Aha. Uh -huh. But it can go... Hmm. So we can pull it, and then I can put it back here, but that would activate the, the trap again. I could, of course, go down. Just capture the wind and then you go know, down. For someone so loved, Tear sure was paranoid. Ah, thanks to Odin, with good reason. Yeah, probably. Uh, this looks like, yeah, there we go. We can break that up. So we can pull it. Ah, but of course, moving it doesn't really hurt, because then the center one will have lost it, so we're just gonna move it from the center ring to the outside ring. And then I can use it from uh, down below again. Not really, it took me way too long to realize that, but... Anywho! Lost one, done. There we go. Well, at least I think it's the last one. Is this one... So I don't know why... Well... It is gonna maybe move the wolf things. Just wanna see what happens. Ah! Slower. It moves the vault itself down. Oh, okay. What's going on? I don't know. Father. 
Boy, get out of here. I'm fine. How do we get you out? Bull chains on the wall. But there are three of them. What do I do? Atreus, uh, focus. You can do this. The right one, Please, I suppose. Honey, I don't know yet if I can drown. Okay. So, <laughs> this is the silver one. He hunts them. Skulls go and he chases the sun. For Ragnarok to happen, they have to eat them. But these are out of order. Okay. Good boy. So the moon goes on the left, sun on the right. With Midgard in the middle, but which bar do I pull? Um, um you pull down the sun. You pull down the... Uh, you can pull... Wait. Wait. If he pulls the middle, what happens? Yeah, 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 yeah. Crap. Middle bar. So that moves that back, yeah. I need to. Them in order. Moon left, sun right. Yeah. Middle bar. No, 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, I'm fucking this up. So, for this to happen, I need to pull. The shield is useless, so right. I need to pull the shield down. Middle, and pull the quickly. center one. Pull down the moon. So moon left, sun right. With Midgard in the middle. Okay. Middle, quickly. Moon left, sun right, Midgard in the middle. So the shield is Midgard, I suppose. Right, so let's boy. pull that back up. Moon on the left, sun on the right. Left boy. There we go. Midgard in the middle. Did we do it? Did we do it? Yeah, okay. So I fucked it up once, but I was in a position that I couldn't really recover from it, so I just restarted it. Oh, can't drown. Guess that's something. Ah, yeah, because Mimir was, of course, underneath the water level. <laughs> Wait! What's that kid Um... Oh, great. Yeah. That's great. Uh, another puzzle, maybe? Come on, Atreus. I'm gonna have to pull us out of this. Boy! You have to stop that chain! How? I... I do not know. Um... I don't know either. I know what to do. Okay, great. Life? There's no other way! Okay, do it. Holy crap, that's actually working. It's not working! Oh god. Seems like it is working. Uh, I'm just gonna jump out of the way because I don't want to get crushed. <laughs> I know, but it saved you. That was cunning, boy. Can we somehow retrieve anything? No, it just it just disappeared. Okay, so we lost the knife. That was why he got a different one, I suppose. Um, what is this, by the way? It looks like. Did one of the gears just crash into this thing, or...? This looks weird. Um, let's open that up. There we go. I think the ring is down again. Okay, retrieve the, the black ring. rune. I think we did it! Alright, let's go see what Tears got for us. No, raise protection. It rubbed off. What should we do? We keep going. Yeah. That's also something that happened. When we got grabbed by the the tree, we lost the protection rune in our neck. Which means that the gods can now find us, which... Ooh, that's gonna be bad. There it is. We've got Especially it. when we get out of this place. We're gonna get ambushed so hard in a second. Okay, stab the mask. Boy. Oh, you don't have a knife anymore. Right. Yeah. That's the uh, the other one we found. On the day you were born, I made two knives, mixing metals from my home and from this land. One for myself, and when you were ready, one for you. Today is that day. So uh, it is kind of an upgrade. Some men are. Like you? No. We are not men. We are more than that. The responsibility is far greater. And you 
must be better than me. Understand? Say it. I will be better. The power of this weapon, any weapon, comes from here. But only when tempered by this, by the discipline, the self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come. I'm a bit sad that the the traveler armor kind of interferes with some of these cutscenes because they're really, really great. And there we have the black rune. I suppose. Looks like. like a... Ah, <laughs> oh, there's no rune. Oh, there it is. Wait. What the hell? Um, guys, there it is. The Knew that was gonna happen. Can you see it? Yes. Are you certain? I got it. Trust Grendel of the Good Ashes. Man. Aim for the face. And one, two, three. Grendel of the Ashes and Grendel of the Frost. Great. I think I'm gonna go for the Ashes first. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Why is he resurrecting? So, wait, the hell? I'm not ready. So obviously, they're immune for the weapons of the other one. Okay, so those explode, but then... I think I have Grandal of the Frost now. Now I need to damage the Ashes guy, probably. So the Ashes is down. And there we go. That was a cool boss fight. Simple, but that was really cool. And then we get uh, another Chaos Flame, which is really cool. I have beaten bigger. And then our first heavy runic attack. Yeah. <laughs> Puny throne. Which way is the sandball back up? A destructive slam attack that hits enemies with two blade slams. Let's just equip that, because of. Oh, yeah. I do recognize that vaguely. I'm just gonna upgrade it immediately because I'm swimming in experience points right now. The Tartarus Rage. So Tartarus is uh, kind of like... Yeah, the, the bits of Tartarus are a, a piece of hell in Greek mythology. Hardens Fartalfheim Steel. Great, because I was missing that to make another, uh, another bit of gear for Atreus. Then we have a chest over there. Let's open that up. And then, of course, I'm not going to end this episode without leaving the vault because I feel like something's going to happen when we leave the vault. And there we get weightless grips of protection, rare blades, pommel, moderate perk activation, chance to grant protective barrier preventing. Yeah. Unsuccessfully landing a rising fury. Nah. Nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. But. So. Let's head out and see what happens. Because I think, yeah, that's the way out. If I recall correctly. So we still need to get an elevator ride back up using the sand ball, but I feel like we're gonna get ambushed again here. Yeah. Or that might not work. It seems to work. There we go.
Do they hear the chanting as well? No. Sit. Lemnian wine. The island of Lemnos. Near the place of my birth. Yeah, don't forget, our quest is actually a pretty simple one. We need to just get the ashes of Kratos' wife and Atreus' mother from the mountains of really? Jotunheim. Smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> awesome. He's gonna spit that right back out. Uh, <laughs> just not. Okay. Ah, oh, leave a bit for the boy, Kratos. He does like smashing pots. Ah. <laughs> oh, that that is not good. Wait, did we enter it like that as well? Don't feel like we did. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? He kinda destroyed the world. The there? Killed them all. It's just you hate the gods so much. But tear proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Maybe not entirely. <laughs> Ah, but who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, head. We are. We know better. Why? Huh? Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. Come, he says. I think I'm gonna like being a god. You're going the wrong way, by the way, but... Never mind. What's going on? Okay, completed the black rune. No, nothing. I feel like we're gonna get smacked by Odin in a second. Go back through the tower. We want, and now we're gonna go see the giant. Ah, Apparently, having learned that travel rune to Jotunheim, we can now head back to the gateway on top of the peak and put that magic chisel to good use. Ah, no, yes. Our way this time. Come on. Right, we needed to do that over there, but I think next time. We're going to do another uh, Muspelheim episode. We're going to clear out the remaining challenges there. So we can upgrade our gear to the max before we move on. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next episode of God of War. Goodbye.